Bluesy licks are a great way to add a bit of interest to your banjo playing. They're among my favourite sounds to make on a banjo. I'll look at some blues licks later in this video, but first let's check out the Blues G scale. The Blues G scale on the banjo makes use of the flattened 3rd, 5th and 7th notes of the G scale. Often we add in the 7th note of the scale, the F sharp in this case, as a sort of passing tone. So playing the notes of the scale just using my index finger and thumb. This uses these two fingers a bit like a flat pick and is called single string style. Let's hear what the notes sound like. Start with the G, then the B flat, the C, then the D flat. Then for the D note we have two options. We can fret the second string at the third fret to get the D note, or we can use the first string open D. This is my preferred option at this stage because by using the open string you get a split second to change the position of your fretting hand to complete the scale on the first string, playing the F natural, the F sharp as a passing tone, and finally the high G. Practice this a few times until you get it smooth. to play this scale. Here's an example playing it over what I call a G chord shape. Here are some other ways, there are many. Finishing on the fretted G again, we can finish on the open G. Here it is played melodic style. Extend the scale further up the neck. And here's a descending version that makes use of the open string to shift position. Open string. These scales can help with our playing, but are not to be thought of as licks in their own right. Making up licks based on these scales is where we can really add interest to our playing and take it to the next level. 
I'll show you some of these in the next video workshop. For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginnerbanjo.